Hi everyone and welcome to Gallery Elysium here at 440 to 444 Burwood Road in Hawthorne. I'm Elias Inchalo, I'm the Director of Gallery Elysium and I'm here today to introduce you to two of the artists who are currently featuring in our Transcend Transcendence exhibition here at the Gallery which ends this Sunday the 1st of August and um, yeah so I've got the artists with me today, I've got uh, Jaden Shin and David Freeney Mills who are, who are the, the, uh, the exhibiting artists and they're going to talk a little bit about their practice and some of their work. It won't go for very long so stick with the video because I'm sure you'll find out some really interesting things. Okay let's start with David, uh, would you like to come close David? Yeah. Just a few questions about, about the work David, so um, what, sort of, uh, what sort of things inspires you to do your work? What, 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 are you, what are you inspired by? What's this exhibition about for you? Well I'm quite inspired by uh, poetry, um, the natural environment, uh, the way that we hear words that inspire us, that we repeat them to ourselves to generate energy. And, and, and how's that, has that reflected in your work? Let's have a look at one of your works. Um, sure. Let's have a look at this one in particular. So just, I'll just uh, turn the camera. And so just, just briefly describe this piece to us, David. Well, uh, I chose a, a Chinese character and then I repeated it and fragmented it and rearranged it to form an abstract composition. That's pretty interesting. So we actually have a close look at that. And what sort of materials are you using? Well, I use ink on um, Korean mulberry paper, otherwise known as hanji paper. And I do a technique of painting on the back and allowing the ink to come through to the front. And then I, I mount it on canvas. Right, and that's, that's, it, it, you've come up with some really interesting uh, results and it's a really interesting technique that you've got because you don't usually see that sort of work uh, around much you know you see some of it but, but not much and it's sort of uh, a yeah. cross between collage and painting isn't it in a way yeah it is and it has a bit of um because hanji paper is a lot like a textile so um you know it allows for a lot of layers of ink right and you really get some really subtle really subtle effects so i'll just bring the camera closer so maybe you can see um that's just really beautiful um effects of the, the ink bleeding into the paper and then uh, and then coming up against the hard edge of another torn piece of paper which may be put on top and of course yeah. we've got the Chinese characters which are an integral part of the, of the design. And so yeah. to what extent is this sort of work, uh, would you say it's, it's, a, it's a graphic approach to making art? Is it, is it conceptual? How do we... Well, I would say that it's aesthetically driven and, and process based but there is um, layers of philosophy behind it I'm quite inspired by uh, East Asian ink painting and, and dye art traditions, as well as reductive Western abstraction. So I will load the brush and, and drag it until the ink runs out, load it and, and load it and drag it again. Um, so I, I wouldn't quite call it graphic, but it's more inspired by uh, calligraphic art, um, as well as um, reductive abstraction from the, from the West but also those dye art um, traditions with um, dyeing of textiles, bright colours. Yeah. And um, it's a, an atmospheric effect that you get when you allow the ink to uh, merge in different layers. And the, the text, you, you actually can't read it. So I start with a word or a character as a point of departure. And it's more about getting these chance coincidences when you start overlapping the fragments of text. So even though I began with a Chinese character, Chinese people couldn't necessarily read this. It's more about the, um, the flux and transformation that occurs. Okay, well, that's, it's a really interesting approach you have there, and uh, it's uh, actually quite beautiful and subtle, and uh, as an aesthetic object, it's, uh, it's actually just beautiful just even to look at. So congratulations on this fantastic piece. There are many pieces uh, uh, by David Freeney Mills at this exhibition. Uh, that reflect that approach, I mean all of them do it to an extent, but they're all various sizes and the, the one that we've just been speaking about um, is absolutely enormous, it's made up of four large panels um, and it's quite magnificent actually, you've got to actually see it in real life, so get down to the gallery by Sunday. Okay, so the other artist is uh, Jaden Shin, don't be shy Jaden. <laughs> so Jaden and, and David have a really interesting history because um, Jaden uh, is uh, Korean and um, and uh, David is interested in Korean culture or aspects of Korean and Asian culture. So um, it's very strange that, uh, that David's chosen to paint or to, to create um, uh, objects and, 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 um, and uh, artwork which is inspired by an Eastern tradition, but you've chosen a slightly different path. You've sort of gone a little bit Western. Yes. <laughs> yeah. David using Korean paper. Yes. I'm using 
Western material. Western material, yeah, yeah. yeah. Acrylic yeah. and uh, cotton, denim, some denim background. Yeah. yeah. And, and what's, what's your background in painting at, in Australia at the moment? How, how long have you been here? Uh, I came to Australia 13 years ago. Right. And I went to RMIT University just after come come to Australia. So my whole career, after that, I only uh, practicing painting and exhibiting in Australia and Korea and other countries. So you've yeah. got a, a pretty extensive um, exhibition uh, history. You've yeah. exhibited both here and in Korea. Is yeah. That uh, and so tell us about this particular work. What's, what's this painting called, first of all? Uh, this painting is uh, something different from my previous work. This work is done uh, this work is done this year. Um, <clears throat> uh, this is about my experience uh, during the lockdown in Melbourne. Okay. Yeah. So this is the kind of pandemic paintings depicting pandemic nights. Yes. My experience of pandemic nights. Um, uh, from last year, uh, world suddenly closed from yes. my my side, so yeah. I I didn't have anything to to look to investigate. Yes. So I mostly rely on my imagination, but this is from my experience about the music last year. What, what sort of music were you listening um, to? Were you in lockdown? Yeah. During the lockdown, I saw a lot of operas from the internet, uh, mostly from metropolitan operas. Okay. Yeah. From uh, last year, from March to August, every night I saw operas. Initially, every night, and during the daytime I painting, and the nighttime I saw operas from my wife MJ. Yes. Uh, I saw almost uh, 150 days consecutive. This music, music. So, <laughs> so, so it, it, this, this is about the music. It yeah. is, and I can yeah. see. I can see that you've got um, yeah. these colored, these colored uh, dots. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, what, yeah. what do they symbolize? What, what, um, do, they, what do they... Yeah, I think these color dots uh, convey the music, the musical notes. Okay, so yeah. they, it's sound related. Yes, sound. Oh, sound. Yeah. Okay. Sound. sound. And uh, at this painting, I also think about the Australian landscape. So... I can see that, and if you yeah. look, if you actually take a wide pan look at it, you can actually see that, yeah. there's, that there's a horizon there, and there's a... Yeah. I always think that the Australian land is uh, this color, uh, red color, reddish yeah. color, and uh, this uh, background sky, night sky, is uh, similar to black, but actually is the uh, what is that? Indigo. Indigo. Yes. In, indigo blue. So, okay. so almost dark, but uh, I. I, I found that the night sky with indigo blue in Australian night. Yes. Yeah. And the music is floating. So the uh, opera music is, uh, what is that? Uh, yeah. Uh, some playing. It's playing. It's yes. Playing. playing. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So it's a really interesting, interesting yeah. body of work that you've, uh, you've, shown, you've shown with us. Uh, Jaden, and it's uh, really quite yeah. inspiring. You've, you've done a few pieces inspired by music, haven't you? Yeah, yeah in the yeah, show. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so if um, yeah. if you'd like to see some uh, some of the other works that Jaden produced, which has been inspired by music yeah. and his experience of music during the lockdown, um, come down and have a look at these fantastic pieces. It's just a very beautiful exhibition, and um, I just hope that uh, sooner or later people can come down and, and appreciate both Jaden's and David's fantastic work. So, with that, um, we'll call this. A day, and um, yeah, thanks very much for uh, for uh, staying with us for so long. And remember, uh, make your life into an art by including art in it. And uh, take care. And I hope to see you next time. This is Elias and Cholo signing off for Gallery Elysium. See, you. bye.